in Honduras, where I come from, um, during the 80s, there was a war going on, and the Contra Revolution was operating in Honduras against the Sandinistas of Nicaragua. So, like in the everyday life, we could hear a lot of things going on in the radio, or we could listen to the airplanes, or helicopters, or yeah, like seeing people we knew being killed or, or uh, stepping on mines, things like that. So yeah, that really affected my outlook of life. And yeah, so somehow some of those reasons uh, were the uh, reason uh, which pushed me to, to come out of my town. I was born in in Danli. Danli is, is the biggest city of uh, of El Paraíso, which is a, a, a department we call it departamento. And uh, but I grew up in a small town called Villa Santa. It was a, a community or a village, and so the town is surrounded by mountains and pine trees and like forest so yeah like in primary school uh, uh, i got in the habit of uh, drawing because uh, probably influenced by my my older brother who was attending college in Italy already and he was very good in drawing so i saw some of his drawings and that's how i got into uh, drawing and I have a, a teacher who, who was really good she would uh, really praise my drawings and and will somehow yeah say wonderful things about my drawings so that would uh, somehow uh, nurture me and so that's how I got into art. But then I I finished primary school and and got out of uh, my community and came to uh, to San Pedro Sula, not San Pedro Sula exactly, but to L La Lima, and was working the banana plantations fields, uh, which was a a, 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 very, a hard experience somehow because it, it was a hard labor and I was um, helping uh, an uncle. And airplanes were somehow spraying uh, poison, you know, like insecticides, like, and they were using that orange, uh, I forgot the name, orange, <laughs> that, yeah, that they use in Vietnam. And so, yeah, like, I remember having my hair, my, my hands covered with that poison. And yeah, a lot of people would get affected by that and they will die uh, uh, young and so yeah that was anyhow like an experience like I mean I'm seeing it from retrospe retrospectively for now and uh, yes but then I got out of Honduras I came to Mexico and somehow continued drawing on just on, on anything that I could find and and I was working in Mexico, and eventually I, I got in the States, and and briefly I got into high school, but then I decided to move to Canada, and in Canada I um, got into art seriously in high school, and then eventually I decided to attend the university and, and study art. and, and in Canada, it was a different situation. I, w I was given the opportunity to go to a school and and to yeah, nurture myself and then yeah, uh, went to university. So yes, like all of that transition was slowly and uh, yeah, of course, I like some of those things uh, reside in my in my subconscious, so so they uh, totally affected me.